overshadowed by Energy Landia. Let's go give it a go. You're watching Ride Comparisons and today we're here at Legendia in Poland. We don't know much about the theme park, do we, Jacob? No. All we know is that they've got a Vekoma coaster. Lek coaster, I believe. It doesn't look like there's anyone here, so let's go give Legendia a go. It's absolutely deserted. And it's raining. Oh, we never get good weather in Poland, guys. Last time we were here at Energylandia, rain and snow. <laughs> this is it. If you follow in the channel, guys, we've really had some bad weather on this trip. <laughs> They've let us in, but it's just deserted. I don't even know if any of the rides are on. We got Lek Coaster over there, guys. We've got a little fountain show. It does look very good. Lek Coaster actually looks awesome. We'll go over there first. I thought we found our first person then, but no, nope, it was just a bit of theming. Oh, we started to find some rides. That's some nicely themed rapids, they look pretty cool. We'll have to give those a go in a minute. Here we are, the famous Lek Coaster. Vekoma Blitz. Let's go see if it's any good. Legendia standout ride. Here we go. Well, it definitely looks awesome. I just hope it's open because there's no one here. I think Energy Landy has killed this theme park. Big nest there. I think it's themed to a giant bird by the looks of it. <laughs> Careful if you come, guys, those steps are extremely dangerous. Very slippy. Yeah. Definitely the world's most confusing queue line. And dangerous. <laughs> They must usually have a pre-show in here. Mm. Oh, we don't get to see it, that's a shame. It looks quite cool. Mm. Maybe because it's always so dense. Oh, we're the only ones here. Lek Coaster, here we go. Hey, Lek Coaster, Jacob, what do you think? I greyed out. You greyed out? We sat on the front and I have absolutely no idea what just happened because it's raining so much I couldn't see. And I greyed out. And Jacob, <laughs> greyed, out. Jacob greyed out. He said it's very intense, but I, I don't really know what happened to be honest. Um, we can't re-ride it. Apparently we have to walk all the way back round, which is a bit strange because we're the only people on the carriage. So we're going to do that now. Going to go and give the back a go because I might be able to actually see what's going on. But that, yeah, it was very smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's go give it another go. I don't know why we have to walk back round because there's literally no one here. It's very strange. Maybe they just don't want us sitting on it for like 20 goes. <laughs> Let's see how many re-rides we can get. So we rode the back that time. We're really confused guys because it's good, isn't it? Yeah. But we just we just can't see anything, unfortunately. Um, I, I just, I can't, I don't really know the layout. All I know is that was a really, really, really good drop, wasn't it? For a tiny little coaster like that. What do you think, Jacob? It pours as well. It pours and then it goes. And Jacob was saying that there's nobody else on the train and it hasn't warmed up, so I can't imagine what this would be like at full speed. It's 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 so intense. I almost passed out on that dive loop after the drop. It was so intense. It is a very intense ride. I really hope it stops raining, don't you? Mm. We might as well go see what else we can find, guys. Maybe rapids were already soaked. <laughs>
We're gonna give the rapids a go when we leave, because if we get any more wet, we're gonna be very miserable, aren't we? I take it that one's not open. I'm really gutted that this one's closed, guys, because you can sit backwards. And it actually looks quite fun. Those toilets smell like rotting fish. Boruta's tricks. It looks dry, it looks dry. Oh, there you go, Jacob, look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't see it on the camera. Oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> oh, it's literally just mirrors, it's not a ride. Oh, wow. We're not sure what this building is, guys. We can't find an entrance to it. Um, if a local can drop into the uh, comments for us, we don't know if it's a scare maze or if it's a pizza pasta restaurant or what, but not too sure. We were getting our hopes up. We thought it was a dark ride so we could stay dry. We got the scary toys factory here. We're not sure if it's a dark ride. It looks like a dark ride on the front, but on the back, it looks like there's a uh, wild mouse coaster, but unfortunately it's closed. It looks, yeah, Jacob, as Jacob says, it looks like it's just Leg Coaster open. So we've paid full park admission with no one here for one ride. It's a bit mad. Oh my God, there's another ride open. Do you want to go on the carousel? No. Oh. <laughs> there's actually other people. It felt like a post-apocalyptic uh, theme park, didn't it, Jacob? It's everyone's dream to have a theme park to themselves. Not when it's raining. But this is actually quite boring, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing's open. I don't know why they didn't just close the park. So we've seen this big dome. But it doesn't look like anything exciting. It's, it's just, just a big, big dome. dome. Oh, it's got a cool echo though. Echo, echo! Echo! One minute FIFA! <laughs> okay, something indoors there. Let's go have a look. Oh, look, should we leave you in there, Jacob? In the cage? Oh, is it just a shop? So it's just an indoor play area, guys. Unfortunately, we're too old. What are they on the ball pit? Too old. <laughs> so we're at the food part of the vlog already, guys. All of this costs 30 pounds, which isn't too bad, is it? No. And it says fast pass there. And there's an entrance there. So I think we found a dark ride as well. And we can eat right in front of it. It's an interesting one. Mm. Best chips ever. Oh, really nice. Okay, let's go see what they've got down here. Um. Ah, it's a shooting dark ride. Jacob loves these. <laughs> that was a very good shooting dark ride, wasn't it, Jacob? Yeah. I beat Sky. <laughs> How do you buy a bit? Buy a bit, loads. Yeah, no, it was actually very well themed. I quite like that one. Bit of a hidden gem there. The rain's starting to clear up a little bit. We can see what else we can find. I don't really want to go on the Ferris wheel because it's not covered. That'd be freezing up there, wouldn't it? But for pleasure, be. Yeah, but they look way worse. They're lower to the ground, though. Um, I don't think I'm going to go on that one. You're going to give it a go? Mm. No? Jacob was just saying we have no idea what this contraption is, but it looks very dodgy. I hope it's open. Is this zero minutes? So it it's, it's the most well themed, dodgy looking coaster ever. That's the open. I hope so. 
No one here? I mean, there's a green light on the control panel. Should I try my hand at being a ride operator? No. <laughs> We just saw this one going, guys, Dragon Temple, flying carpet ride, but it looks like you sit sideways, so let's give it a go. That was dangerous, wasn't it, Jacob? Yeah, it kept sliding around on I it. think you have to have two people sitting in those seats. That was so dodgy. Oh my God, it was fun though. Yeah. The most dodgy and terrifying flying carpet I've ever been on. Me and Jacob just saw that this spinning flat ride over here was turned on and it actually goes all the way upside down. Like Zodiac at Fort Park, isn't it? It looks better actually. It does look better. I haven't actually been on one of these since I was a little kid and I think it was Zodiac that I went on. Oh, towers. I might as well give it a go, get a refresher to what these are like. Hopefully not a wet bum again. down on there. It beats Zodiac, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Jacob was saying, you actually got upside down with no restraints. Quite a dodgy one, that one. Yeah. It's fun though, isn't it? Zodiac barely goes upside down. <laughs> now there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a river wrap. Uh, now there's a log flume type thing over here. Um, it does look very wet though. Very Maybe towards the end. I've got a wet bum, we're soaked already. So yeah. I don't think it would do too much. Diamond River. I mean, it's hard to say because we haven't seen it go because there's no one here, but you know, that could be a, like a really bad soaker for all we know. Yay, we can actually give it a proper go now, can't Yay. we? It's finally stopped raining. Let's go see what Let Coast is really like. That drop's insane though. So after nine goes on Lek Coaster, what do you think? I nearly blacked out. Anything else? So intense. A good drop as well. That is absolutely insane, guys. A brilliant coaster. Probably my favorite next gen Vekoma. Yeah. I like it more than fly. You like it more than fly? We haven't ridden it enough. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. That drop's amazing as well. Oh, what are you doing? On the coaster. <laughs> that drop is ridiculous. Definitely worth coming, guys. If you're going to Energylandia, it's only half hour down the road, so make sure you come here as well. I mean, it's definitely better than Abyssus. It's better than food. As Jacob just said as well, better than Phoenix at Farrop Summerland. That has more airtime though, that focuses on positive G's more. It's awesome. And Denmark's very expensive and Farrop's really hard to get to. Poland's cheap and you've got Energylandia next to you as well. So come here guys, definitely worth a visit. What a coaster, eh? That drop is insane. I love that drop. I really like this coaster. Yeah. <laughs> underrated, awesome. underrated. Need some more praise this one. Let's go on the rapids. Here we go on Legendia's Rapids. Better not be River Quest. Uh, you always know it's going to be good rapids though when you see these trains. Love these ones. Uh, <laughs> oh, not me. Oh, I hope those turn off. Oh, God. Oh, it's me. Oh, it's me. Um, I don't think they turn off. Oh, no. Oh. These are good rapids. These are good rapids. <laughs> These are good rapids. Oh. Yeah, they're all right. Can't beat River Quest at Fantasia Land. No. 
ones that fire up were quite good as well. No, the ones that fire up were terrible. What was the ones that um, twos and threes? I can't remember what they were called now. Uh, they were really good, those ones. If this thing's warmed up anymore, I think we might actually pass out. And that's full train, imagine. The log flume's turned off now. We thought we might give it a go. We'll see, we'll see if we can get it to open. We have no idea how wet it is though, because we've never seen it go, so. I hope it's not too bad. Don't really fancy a tidal wave or Valhalla at the moment. No. Ah, oh, it looks like they've shut it now. Should have something on the door really, but. Got tidal wave boats. Tidal wave boats. <laughs> really, really well themed key line though, I love it. Rawr. Oh, we're getting kicked out of the theme park. Apparently it closes at uh, 4 pm when it says 8 pm on the website. That's a bit of a shame, Maybe isn't it? There's no one here. No, no, but they shouldn't they shouldn't really do that. Mm. They can't just decide to close it when you when you've paid to come till 8 o'clock. They're playing the sad music as we walk out the theme park four hours early. <laughs> Very sad. That is a very good coaster, guys. Definitely come here. I really enjoyed that. Oh, it's city. such a shame. It's not raining anymore. We was having fun, weren't we? Yeah, I enjoy this part now. So there we have it, the very few people in the theme park getting kicked out. That brings our vlog to a close, guys. What did you think of Legendia? This is actually a nice park, to be honest. It's nice, but it's not as busy. Not as busy. I actually wanted to be a bit busier. I don't mind that it wasn't busy. I mean, I just, you know, it's a bit silly that we got kicked out so early when they advertise mm. eight o'clock on the website. Don't get me wrong, I can understand there's barely anyone there. They're not making any money, but you know, there's different ways you can do it. You can close the park for a couple of days a week or, but we were having a lot of fun. So as I say, guys, it's about 40 minutes from Energylandia. If you come into Poland, Lech Coaster is definitely worth a go. So it is worth coming here. Um, it's Poland. It's not that expensive for the theme parks, is it? No. It's actually been very good value for money in, um, in Poland. So I would definitely recommend coming to Legendia, guys. If you did enjoy today's vlog, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.